Hey guys, it's Salem and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be doing a lipstick declutter. I have been putting this off for such a long time and today is the day where I actually go through all of my lipsticks. I have some other liquid lipsticks in another section but I'm mainly going to be focusing on this drawer today which is where I hold almost all of my lipsticks anyway. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So right up at the front, I have all my Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks, and then we also have some Lime Crime lipsticks right here as well, um, which obviously are very, very old, if you guys remember Lime Crime. But sometimes I like to keep these because of just packaging purposes, and also, like, I want to create a little bit of a makeup museum for myself of just, you know, brands that maybe um, might not be around anymore. I know Lime Crime is around, but you guys know what I mean. Like, some brands aren't, and it's just nice to still keep those products and same with like these lipsticks they don't do anymore like this I don't think so you know it's nice to just keep it like just as a little collector's item so that's the only problem I do like to keep a lot of like products for collection purposes but I'm gonna try my best so the first lipstick that I have right here is from Ciate and this one is in the shade cashmere now I will warn you guys a lot of these are pretty much like old and maybe a lot of them are very expired and maybe even moldy and this is definitely one of those products where it's just really old so i'm going to be getting rid of this moving on into all my gerard cosmetics lipsticks this is going to be a difficult one but i will be keeping some just for aesthetic purposes and then the rest getting rid of this is the shade merlot which i'm going to be keeping tequila sunrise i'm going to keep to the side for now same with peachy keen i will decide after Kimchi doll is literally like the perfect shade for me, but it's very fuzzy. It's very like expired. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. 1995 looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep this. Rodeo Drive has all little fuzzies on it and it's very expired. So I'm going to get rid of that. Same with Enchant, getting rid of that. And Fairy Godmother, I would never wear this shade really. So I'm going to get rid of that. Fire Engine, I'm going to keep to the side for now. And all dolled up, I'm going to keep to the side as well. Cherry Cordial, I'm going to get rid of. And Berry Smoothie, this is very expired as well, has all the little fuzzies. I'm going to get rid of that. These are the last two from Gerard Cosmetics. We have Buttercup, which I'm going to get rid of because it's very old. Same with Nude, it's getting like little bubbly bits on it. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I think I'm going to keep these Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. Next, we move on into Lime Crime. Lime Crime Mint To Be. I have to keep this just because it's so unique. Absolutely love that. Same with the blue because I remember how much I used to love this. This one is called No She Didn't. New York City, I have to keep as well just because it's a, like such a fun color but also because of the name. And as you guys know, I love New York. I do have a tattoo of New York as well. So like I have to keep it. This one I remember being my favorite as well but I am gonna get rid of it. This one's called Babette. Poisonberry is beautiful. I'm going to keep this to the side for now. Coquette, I remember being my favorite nude, but I'm going to get rid of this. Great Pink Planet, I'm going to put to the side. And then we have Cosmo Pop, which I'm going to get rid of. All my Seriously Satin lipsticks from e.l.f. I'm going to be keeping because these are pretty much new and I always reach for them. All my Wet n Wild lipsticks I'm also going to be keeping. These are the newer ones in this packaging. But I do have some old ones in like the old packaging, which I'm going to probably declutter. But these new ones, I am keeping all of them. These are the other old Wet n Wild lipsticks. These were like the original ones. This is how they used to look. We have Mauve Outer here, which I think I'm going to get rid of pretty much all of these. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of all of these. Revolution Matte Lipsticks. I absolutely love these um, and I use them a lot. This one is in the shade Teddy. Beautiful. We have one that I haven't even used yet, which is a red. And then we have a really nice like peachy one. So these are all good. I'm going to be keeping these. A Nabla lipstick, Nabla, in the shade Chloe. And that's very expired. I don't know what has happened to that. So that's going... I didn't even buy this that long ago, maybe like two years ago. This YSL one, I've never wanted to part with because I absolutely love the packaging. I think I will keep it because, um, not that I will ever use it, but just for the packaging. And I also remember this being something that I wanted when I was quite young and my mum bought it for me. So um, 
I just have a little bit of a backstory for it because I remember wanting this for months and months and months. Um, and I think this shade specifically back then, like six, seven years ago, was um, a hit. And this one is the Rouge Volup lipstick in number 13. Dose of Colors, Desi Perkins and Katie collaboration. This is in the shade No Shade. I'm going to be keeping that. A Flormar lipstick, again, a European brand. I think it is um, a Turkish brand because um, I do remember it getting it from Turkey and this one I'm going to get rid of. Essence lipstick in bold which I usually use in my videos, keeping that. A Too Faced lipstick, this one's beautiful, like the packaging. Um, this one's in Sunday Fun Day and it smells like peaches, it has little peaches on it and it's pretty good to go, uh, as in like to keep and use, so I'm going to be keeping that. We have a Tarte lipstick in the shade Poppy. Um, I don't think I'd ever use this, so I'm going to get rid of it. Look how much space we're freeing up. The W7 Very Vegan Lipstick in the shade Awesome Autumn, I'm going to be keeping. This is a Clinique Sheer Lip Colour in the shade Licorice Pop. That is absolutely beautiful, I'm going to be keeping that. We have two L'Oreal and JLo um, lipsticks, this was a collab um, that L'Oreal did with JLo and I'm going to be keeping these um, mainly not to use but just for collection purposes. These I know are going to pretty much go I think. These are my Smashbox lipsticks so I only have three right here I believe. Um, you're going to see they're very heavily expired. This one's going to go even though it is a beautiful shade again but that's going to go. This one's going too. Okay so this one I think I'm going to keep because it pretty much is the only black lipstick I have so it would be great for Halloween or just for whenever I need to reach for a black lipstick. Um, I know I could always use eyeliner um, or something like that but it's really nice <laughs> so I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to get rid of this NARS lipstick. This one is in the shade, oh it is very pretty though but I'm going to get rid of it. It's in the shade Roman Holiday. The Ilonga Alice lipstick, this one is in the shade Loveberry. So, so, so pretty. I'm going to be keeping that. Two Morphe lipsticks. We have Flirt. I'm going to be keeping Flirt. So this shade is called Bear All, which is a nice matte nude. I'm keeping both Morphe lipsticks. This is a very old Maybelline lipstick, which I'm going to get rid of. But it, it literally is my shade, but I'm going to get rid of that. Two Primark lipsticks I am going to be keeping. This one's a nice matte, actually. No, I'm going to get rid of that because it has some fuzzies. So I'm going to get rid of this Primark lipstick. It's literally like a pound, so I'm not even like losing any money. Um, this one seems fine, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Oh, I also have the Jennifer Lopez and Inglot collaboration lipstick. This one's in a pure red, and I'm going to keep that. I guess I won't go through every single colour, but I'm keeping these two, a NYX lipstick and LA Girl lipstick. Kevin Aquan, this is a little pricey. This is the lipstick in Pale Nude. Extremely, extremely, extremely expired. You won't be able to tell, but this literally is like my perfect nude, but it is so expired, I, I really can't use it. So I'm going to get rid of that. What a shame because it was so expensive. Also the Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Glazed. Um, I'm going to be keeping. Now these Kylie lipsticks, honestly are like my favourite lipsticks in the entire world, but she has discontinued them. I really hope she comes out with them again. These were the cream, creamy lipsticks from Kylie. Um, if they aren't expired, I will keep them. This is Creme Brulee. Looks pretty good to me, so I'm keeping that. Angel Cake looks good as well. And then last but not least, Butterscotch. And that looks good as well. So I'm keeping all three Kylie lipsticks. Another Kylie Jenner lipstick. I think this one is a matte. This one's in the shade August. I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Two KKW Beauty lipsticks. I'm going to be keeping these even though the brand is not available anymore. I still really like these nude shades. We have some other Kylie and Kim lipsticks. Another KKW Beauty cream lipstick um, in nude one, which I'm going to keep, which hasn't been opened. And this Kylie lipstick in Beach Bum. Let's see. I think I'm going to get rid of this because I don't know what's happening there. So I'm going to get rid of that. Tom Ford lipsticks, I don't care how expired they are, I'm going to keep them because they literally cost like £40 each. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be keeping them, I don't care. I literally could just like 
uh, cut off the lipstick and keep it for the packaging. But this one is in the shade Blush Nude. And then we also have Spanish Pink, which, yeah, is expired. But I'm going to be keeping it anyway. Same with this, another Tom Ford lipstick. This one is beautiful. Again, I have to keep it. It's like mirror packaging. This one is, I know, look at that, a velvet, like... I don't even know what you'd call that velvety glitter. I don't even know. It's just so, so, so pretty. So this has to stay with me. This one is in the shade Control, but they don't make it anymore. It was limited when I used to work at Tom Ford. I do have another Tom Ford lipstick. I didn't even know. Actually, I have two more. Wow, I have so many. I have a little baby one in the shade Jake, which is for Jake Gyllenhaal, who is my celebrity crush. I am obsessed with him. And Tom Ford named a lipstick after him, so I have to keep that. And then I also have this lipstick colour in True Coral. I'm not going to open it because I'm going to be keeping that as well. I guess we're moving on to like the like high-end lipsticks. This is a Estee Lauder Pure Colour lipstick um, in the shade Gunmetal Luminizer. I remember getting this when I was very young. Um, it's very, very, very old but let me show you what it looks like. I am going to keep it just, again, for like this little makeup museum that I want to create one day. It's a beautiful gold black lipstick. And literally, like Estee Lauder, they just made really fun things back then and they just don't anymore. But I'm keeping it for collection purposes. This is the Dior lipstick in 249. Extremely, extremely expired, but I will like wipe it down, clean it. But again, I'm keeping it mainly because I remember my mum surprising me. I think I was literally like, I don't even know... Maybe I was like 13 or 14 years old. And yeah, over 10 years ago. This is the Fenty Beauty Plush Matte Lipstick in Madame Moselle. I don't know if they still make these lipsticks. Um, Matte Moselle? Yeah. And so this is a red. I'm going to be keeping that. Next, we have these Ill Maquillage Lipsticks, which was a collaboration with Carly Bible here on um, YouTube. And I'm keeping every single one because these are like my holy grail lipsticks. They are limited edition and I stocked up because I love them so much. This is another Lime Crime lipstick in the shade Third Eye. And this one is a really beautiful like berry. But again, I really want to keep it mainly for the packaging. So I think I'm going to. Um, and you can see what this looks like. It's absolutely stunning. So I am going to keep it for the packaging because how can you throw this away? Literally how? So that is staying with me. All my friends... And Makeup Revolution, again, lipsticks are all staying. Monica, Phoebe, we have Rachel. And then we also have the Joey Lip Balm, the Ichiban lipstick. If you guys are a fan of Friends, you'll know what these are. This is another W7 Very Vegan lipstick. This one is in Cheerful Cherry. I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Two of these MAC um, like lipsticks, lip stains, I'm going to be keeping both. The Maybelline Hot Vivid Lip Lacquer, which I'm going to keep. Citizen Cosmetics, um, like, uh, lip duo. It's got a lip gloss and a lipstick. Keeping both. It's very cool toned, which I don't really have. Many like that. This Krylon, Krylan, however you want to pronounce this brand, um, I'm going to be getting rid of this. Rare Beauty Lip Souffle, I'm going to keep. This Colourpop Liquid Lipstick, I'm going to get rid of. I don't even know what brand this is. I'm going to get rid of this too. Focalore Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Burnt Umber, I'm going to keep. The Balm Meet Matte Hues. I'm going to keep this off to the side. I want to see if they still make it. If they don't, then I know it's very old. Three of these Jouer, um like lip creams I'm going to be keeping. And something has leaked right here, which I will clean up at the end. All these MAC lipsticks I'm going to be keeping. A Gucci lipstick I'm going to keep. This little baby bite beauty lipstick I'm going to keep. I haven't used it yet and it is just so adorable to just literally throw in your bag. I really want to know what has exploded because there is something that's just going over everything. This is the Give Beauty Original Recipe um, liquid lipstick I'm keeping. I think it could be this that has leaked. But these are the OCC lip tars. Um, these are extremely, extremely, extremely OG makeup products. For those of you who have been in the makeup game for more than 10 years, um, you will remember these. These are... An absolute classic. I am going to wipe these down really well and keep these specifically for like, you know, collection purposes. The Dose of Colours Liquid Lipstick in the shade 
I don't even know, it's like a nice orange, but I'm going to get rid of that. Charlotte Tilbury, um, like lip cream, liquid lipstick kind of thing. I'm going to keep that. Same with these, the OCC lip tars, but in the liquid form, I'm going to keep these. Two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is in the shade I Gotta Go. I'm going to get rid of that. It's with the Shane, the Shane collab. This purple one I'm going to be keeping. Two more MAC lipsticks, which are going to stay. These are all staying. So are these from Colourpop. These two Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks or like glossiers are staying too. Another one from Wet n Wild, which is going to stay. Two Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick I'm going to be keeping. I have it in three shades. I know these are old, but I'm going to test one out on the lips. If I feel it like reacting, I will get rid of it. But if not, I'll keep it. My Maybelline lipsticks, we have the new vinyl one from Maybelline and then the classic like Superstay ones, which I love. Going to keep all four of those. This is a Smashbox like copper liquid lipstick I'm going to get rid of. Another MAC lipstick I'm keeping. Bite Beauty like lip crayon. This one is a really nice shade. I'm going to keep that. Estee Lauder lipstick. I don't think I'd ever use this, so I'm going to get rid of it. My MAC lipstick in Myth. Doll Beauty in FOMO, which I love and use all the time. Another MAC lipstick, another MAC lipstick. Um, and as you guys know, I already have all my MAC lipsticks right at the top. So of course those aren't all my MAC lipsticks. We have a Sephora lipstick in the shade. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Like a nice bright pink, but I'm not gonna be keeping this. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. The Melt Cosmetics lipstick in Nude. How pretty is like the embossed detailing on it? Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna be keeping this. This Urban Decay lip set has like all these little mini lipsticks. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of this cause it is very old. I don't even know what brand this is. I forgot, but um, I'm gonna be keeping this because look at the packaging. It is literally insane, this dragon packaging like look at that insane so you know i could never ever ever get rid of this okay so this is from zc cosmetics and then we just have some like lipsticks floating around i do have some other lipsticks on my makeup desk which i need to use for videos so i'm not going to get rid of those because i know i'm going to be keeping them so we have some of these shop miss a lipsticks which i will be keeping we also have my Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick, which I'm going to keep, which I absolutely love. One of my favorite nudes. We have two Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani lipsticks, which I'm going to keep, which I literally just got recently anyway. I think most of these right now I'm going to be keeping. Huda Beauty lipstick. And then we have the Lawless lipstick, which I just got literally just like a month ago from Sephora. This is a random Chanel lipstick, like from the 90s, which doesn't have a lid. My mum had this, this was hers, and she gave it to me just to like have for collection purposes. So I have to keep that. Free REM Beauty lipsticks. If you guys don't know, I do work for REM um, in London. So yeah, I will definitely get a lot of REM products using my discount. These are the only free lipsticks I have at the moment, um, but I didn't get these with my discount. I actually got these... Um, online and also from Ulta so I'm going to be keeping these of course but these don't actually fit in these in the little slots so I'm going to have to put them probably right at the back a beautiful Dior lipstick which I got recently um last year two beauty creations matte lipsticks I'm going to keep Patrick Tar silky lip cream this one is literally the most beautiful shade ever it's like a just very nude pink um and this one's in the shade she's unapologetic Makeup by Mario I'm keeping and then also this Revlon lipstick in Bear Affair which I'm going to keep and this Jeffree Star Velvet Trap lipstick in the shade Funeral Parlor which I have been wanting for the longest time because it is just the most palest palest like cool pink lipstick that I have ever found so and I love the texture of this it's very 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 velvety now we have these um in this little container which basically Either I can fit in those slots or I'll just leave them in here. So we have by Nicola liquid lipstick. I'm going to be keeping that and also a nude brown one. The organization part of this video will come towards the end when I actually like clean this and then put them all back in order. 
but for now I'm just going through the decluttering. So these two Fenty Beauty lipsticks I'm keeping. Too Faced Melted uh, Longwear Lipstick in Melted Nude. I'm going to get rid of that. MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. I'm going to be keeping that. Bath and Body Works Lip Oil. I'm keeping this ColourPop. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, this is a ColourPop. Um, what do you even call these? Lippy thingies. Lippy sticks. I'm going to get rid of it. Elf Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick in Praline Petal. I'm going to keep. These two KVD Beauty liquid lipsticks I'm keeping. I'm going to get rid of this Makeup Forever. Um, I don't even know, but this is very old. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this Makeup Revolution, like teal blue liquid lipstick. This baby Too Faced lipstick I'm getting rid of. And also the Berry Melted Matte Lipstick. Actually, I'm going to keep this because this is the most perfect, like, creamy pinky nude. And I, I just, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to keep this. Another Too Faced Mini Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick I'm going to get rid of. All of these are going to stay. We have more in this container. This NYX Shout Loud Liquid Lipstick I'm going to keep. Simpsons and Revolution Treehouse of Horror Collection I'm keeping. Two of the Barbie and Colourpop Lip Kits I'm going to keep. And then I think these are the Colourpop Lippy Sticks which I'm going to go through. Expired. Also expired. Like they're losing its colour. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of every single one. There's nothing even in there. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous, this shade, but I'm going to get rid of that too. Last but not least, we have this container and then I also have some lip liners, um, which I think I'm going to go over the lip liners off camera because I really don't think that's interesting. But let's go through these. These two Jeffree Star lip scrubs I'm going to get rid of because they are very old and I don't feel comfortable putting them on my lips. This is a Bite Beauty little sample lipstick I'm going to keep. She Glam lipstick I'm keeping. These two, these are like um, just really nice packaging lipsticks. Again, I'm keeping that. I don't know what brand this is, but I'm going to keep it because I know it's a beautiful like cherry glossy red. Sephora lipstick, which I picked up recently in the shade number seven or like number. I forgot to show this in my Sephora haul recently, but yeah, I picked up that. I'm going to get rid of this. This is the um, lip coat like it's supposed to make it's supposed to seal your lipsticks and make them last all day but it's very old i'm gonna get rid of it all three of these animal crossing and ColourPop um little like chubby lipsticks are obviously going to stay this kylie liquid lip set is gonna go i have this clinique pop lip shadow this is a really unique like product it's kind of like um think of like a eyeshadow powder stick thingy but it's in like a lip form. Um, I'm going to keep this because I will play around with it and see how I like it. Or I could give it away to like a family member. But for now, I will keep this. Two more e.l.f. Seriously Satin lipsticks, which I have not I have not opened yet. And another Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick, which I'm going to be keeping. And last but not least, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but it's a sparkly lipstick. Very, very, very similar to the Tom Ford one. I think they did copy it as you can see, but look at that duochrome. It might even be better than the Tom Ford one. It's like a blue, purple, pink. These are the lip liners. So I'm gonna go through these off camera um, and then see what I can get rid of. This is what we are looking like, super empty drawer, nice and clean. So let's just go ahead and fill them really nicely now. I decided I'm going to keep this Estee Lauder lipstick because now it's really pretty. So I'm just going to slot it right here. And that 
is my new lipstick drawer. It looks so much better. We have less lip liners. This isn't crowded anymore. We have so much still space even at the back. Um, and I could probably do with like decluttering more of this, but you know, I will have to see how I get on with this drawer for now, but I'm still happy that I can fit a lot more back there, a lot more lip liners. There's still space uh, right here as well. Oh, I forgot to put this one away. This is the Jeffree Star lipstick. I'll just slot it, I guess, right back there. But I know there's still a lot of lipsticks, but I'm gonna show you guys now what I did get rid of. And there are a ton that I got rid of. So even though it may not look like it, to me, it was such a big achievement to actually get rid of that many. And again, um, most of these, which are like for collection purposes, I will have to find a different spot for them. For now, they will stay here. But once I find a spot for the limited edition stuff that I won't actually use on my lips, they will go somewhere else. So then that way I will have more space anyway once I get rid of like the limited edition stuff. So... So that is pretty much that. So I'm going to show you guys what I got rid of. But this is the after. I will count and put on the screen how many lipsticks we decluttered. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you guys think about the declutter. If you want to see more from me. And definitely check out my other declutter videos. I do have a ton. I have a playlist up on my channel. And I'm going to let you guys go now. I hope you're all staying safe. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.